Azure Virtual Desktop is Microsoft's latest iteration of terminal services, which is not something new to EG Enterprise. We've been in this space for over a decade and understand the complexities of digital workspaces. Let me show you how EG Enterprise can help you improve your user experience for AVD. Here are some key differences between Azure Monitor Insights and EG Enterprise. When it comes to using Azure Monitor Insights, there are many challenges to collect and analyze data Microsoft provides. There's a lot of manual effort involved in setting up metrics, thresholds, and alerts, all of which is included in EG out of the box. You simply install the agent onto the AVD image, which can easily be done using the Nerdio Manager. Once completed, EG will discover and automatically start monitoring session hosts, brokers, and host pool. EG also provides 20 built-in reports for AVD admin, whereas Azure Insights requires right and crucial queries. And EG can also monitor other digital workspaces, including Citrix, AWS, Horizon, just to name a few. And we do also have the ability to run logon simulators for your Azure desktops. The cost of monitoring Azure kind of depends on different factors. You can easily incur charges of which you're not aware of, whereas with EG, licensing is primarily based on the number of users and there's no monthly billing surprises. First, I want to show you how easy it is for you to monitor your Azure infrastructure. Once we configure and start to monitor your Azure subscription, all your Azure components will be automatically discovered and this topology view will automatically generate where admins can easily identify the root causes within your Azure infrastructure as seen right here in this diagram. Understanding your user experience in this new remote work from home environment is crucial for AVD admins. Therefore, in the EG console, we provide you with this out of the box user experience dashboard where you can see all of your users connected, which AVD uh, pool, their logon time, and other important KPIs. When you select any of the users, it will have an indicator which is also color coded and it is sort in order of urgency. So when you click on a user like we're going to click on right here, this will go ahead and bring you up to their session topology where you can see the user's full connection. You can see their connection to the AVD broker, session host, and even the host pool. Now, just looking at this user's connection or this, this user's logon time, we can see it took 126.68 seconds for them to log in. To identify the root cause of that issue, we can see right here that the group policy uh, drive map, which is basically mapping drives, took 43.33 seconds. On this dashboard, we can also see some other critical information as well. And you can scroll down, you see the top processes by memory, top processes by CPU, just to name a few on this dashboard. The next out of the box dashboard that I want to show you is going to be the AVD infrastructure dashboard. And this particular dashboard, you can see your, your host state. You can see that you have two hosts, two powered on, one active session, one disconnected session as well. This dashboard gives you a peace of mind knowing that your infrastructure is healthy and my users are also happy as well. When it comes to reports, EG does provide built-in reports for Azure Virtual Desktop. We have over 20 different kinds for session, users, applications, session hosts. And if this is something that you want to download, you can definitely download these reports as PDF. You have the ability to also mail it. We give you the ability to save these reports within the council as a favorite, and you can also schedule these reports if you want to have it done on a weekly basis. And this is a quick overview of how EG can help you with your AVD monitoring. Thank you so much.